Good morning, you guys. So today is party day for Nolan and his eighth birthday. So I am gonna be doing a birthday preparation video showing you everything that I am doing to get ready for Nolan's birthday. And so far we have not done that much. So today's gonna be a crazy morning. I'm gonna try to film as much as I can. And let me just kind of show you guys what we have so far. So first, if you hear anything, Frank is just outside putting Nolan's or making his big pop it. Yesterday. Who's making a pop it? A giant cardboard pop it. Are you sure? Let's go see. That's what I think that's what I heard of what mommy said. What? About making a cardboard pop it. So that is right. We are making a cardboard pop it. I'm not sure how this is really gonna go. Um this is like it's a pop it. the hardest part is making the circle. Well it's gonna be a it's gonna be like a square pop it. So oh. I can hang it up. But the hardest part is, I know I'm going to have to like hot glue and tape it right here, but along the gonna, edges. You're going to make the little poppet things. You're yeah, I got to I gotta get balloons. Spray, like spray paint. Spray paint. So like, you're right, Nolan. We got spray paint for each of the little lines for the poppet. And then we have balloons for it. Yeah. Like one of the lines over there. That's right. So, whose birthday party is tomorrow? Mine. How old are you going to be, dude? Eight. How old? Eight. Six. Eight. eight. Oh, eight. Okay. My name's eight. I'm seven. You're seven? All right, me and Nolan are going to get started on this poppet, and I'm going to bring you guys along. Yeah, and Scarlett, you can help too. What's the first color of poppet? I'll get my poppet so you can remember. I've already got it handled, oh. buddy. Would be I think we're going to do orange oh, first. Well, it would be red, but we can go with orange. That's right. right. Yep. I'm going to explain to you guys what I'm doing mm -hmm. while I do it. Oh. Alright guys, so really quickly, the reason why I jumped into Frank making the giant poppet for Nolan's birthday is because he actually started filming this whole process the day before. So I'll go ahead and let him explain how he made it. All right, you guys, so what I did was just took the hot glue gun and went all the way down and there was a big hole in the middle so I just filled it full of hot glue and it actually worked out very well. So this is the base. Then you come over here and I got my square out and I'm gonna cut two inch strips as the border for the poppet board. All right, you guys, so I know it's been a little bit since I've been on here doing a voiceover, but I wanted to tell you guys that this was like a super easy DIY poppet that honestly, it could have been done a lot easier, but there was so much gluing involved, you guys. I think I went through at least 20 of the hot glue sticks because like every time that I would think I was gonna make it, I ended up having to use another one and another one and then one tricky thing about doing this is when you cut your two inch strips and you line everything, you really wanna make sure that you cover every little piece of cardboard like when it corners together because if you don't, it's going to come apart. Also, you guys, I forgot to mention how you make the holes for the poppet itself. What I ended up using was a bowl from the cabinet and you guys, it worked so perfectly because you just do like a nice little round circle and you can either use a utility knife, an X-Acto knife, or you can be like me and use a saw saw to just cut each and every hole out. And I forgot to show you guys that, but that's pretty much how you do the pop it. The next morning. I'm gonna start laying everything out. So kind of getting the table ready and we have drinks over here. The theme is pop it, which is like, I'll show you here in a second, like a little fidget toys. So all the colors are, or the theme is very colorful. So actually Ian went and got some drinks and he found these really cool colorful drinks for the kids so I usually set that up right here I did get a popcorn machine where is it hold on let me find it over here for his pop it birthday I've never used one of these before I don't know how to work it so that's gonna be interesting to figure out and then here is all of his decorations so I have number eight foil balloons and I got three of them right there here is the tablecloth and we got our plates and balloons, his birthday candle, um, what's it called these? Popcorn boxes for the kids, and 
candles, I guess, some more candles. Oh, I got this for his actual birthday because he actually doesn't turn eight until the ninth. And like these are little poppet table decorations. So I bought like this whole kit on Amazon. It has plates, it has cups, his cake topper and cupcake toppers. Um, I have a lot of balloons because it was really hard to find things for this theme, the poppet theme. Um, so that's why we also made that huge poppet and we're gonna have a whole bunch of colorful balloons. We also have a really colorful water slide that they set up yesterday and it will be here all weekend. So I'll show you guys that here in a second as well. But I have a little bit, a little bit of food prep to do. Um, I do have some people and friends and family bringing stuff, which helps out so much. And then Nolan requested pizza, so we'll be ordering pizza as well. I'm just telling you guys all of this ahead of time because I know once I get going, I'm not going to be able to stop and I'm going to keep going and keep going. I'll try to film as much as I can. I just don't know how much talking I'll do. If anything, I'll have to do a voiceover, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys everything that I have so far and I think I'm ready to start setting up. Oh, one last thing. I also have somebody coming to do the balloon garland, which you guys know I can do myself. I can do that myself, but it is so time consuming. It is easy, but very time consuming and I did not want to have to deal with that stress. So I do have somebody that's gonna come do it in a few hours, a couple hours. So um, I'll see if I can try to film that. Obviously you guys will see it regardless, but all right, gonna get it started now. So really quickly, I wanted to show you guys the kit that I just got. I didn't realize it came with a topper as well. So I think I like this one better than I like that one. And by the way, that noise in the back is just our mop. Um, happy birthday sign or banner. Some marble balloons. These are really cool because they have a whole bunch of different colors. Um, I can't remember if this is a tablecloth or a backdrop. I, I will have to see. More cupcake toppers, which again, I think I like these better than those these just look a little bit more realistic uh some napkins cups i think there's another tablecloth in there um spoons forks all that good stuff so um okay now let's go ahead and start setting up so one thing that I've started to do differently with all the kids' birthdays, actually just this year, um, I think I started doing it with Harlow's birthday, but instead of using the table, like our dining room table for the display or pushing it to the side or towards the back like I used to, I've started to switch it up and use it as the kids' table. And it's actually worked out really, really well because then you're able to contain or we're able to contain all the kids in one place and all the adults can kind of like be around and serve the kids and everything like that. Um, so I've now been just setting up the main table or our dining room table as the kids table and it's just gone off really, really well. So just to throw out a little idea for you guys and before anybody comes after me, because we've already established this on my Instagram and we've been laughing over there. I messed up you guys. I had a million tabs open trying to get everything together for Nolan's birthday and I may or may not have spelled birthday the wrong way. I spelled it Brith Day. And it's actually really funny because halfway through the party, nobody noticed. We even had somebody come set up the balloon garland. She said she didn't even notice. I reached out to her and I was like, hey, I am so sorry because she had posted on her business page, taken pictures, videos, everything. And I'm just like, okay, well, next time you come, I'll make sure to spell birthday correctly. Um, but anyways, it was just, it was a little joke. It was funny, definitely a mom moment. So after Frank cut out all the holes for the giant poppet, because our idea behind it is to stick the ends of the balloon and have them stick inside of the hole, um, but we spray painted the background of each row. So we did orange, yellow. I think Fletcher had knocked over the camera halfway through, so I had to cut some of it out. But you guys will see here in a second all the different colors we used, and then we just matched the balloon to that row. And it actually turned out really good. I'll let you guys see that here in a second. All right, so Aria just came over. She is helping with the party favors. I say she just came over because technically she's with her dad this weekend, but she came over a little bit early to help with all the party favors. So we have poppets to go in each 
party favor bag. Oh, There's so many see. different colors and I got all these cute Tim colors Tim. and camo. And then we have these, I don't even know what they're, they're called. They're uh, called pop tubes. Pop tubes. Oh, Aria says that the parents will not like those. I guess they're really loud. Oh, I do remember those. Yeah, they are pretty loud. <laughs> and then some Play-Doh. So probably two of these little containers in each bag. And then we have some of these treats. Oops. They have like the little rainbow sprinkles on them. And then also fruit roll-ups. So that is everything that's going into party favors. And then I think we're gonna just set them right here on this table. So that. Oh, that's true. I didn't even notice that. So we're gonna put all the party favor bags on this table. That way when the guests leave, they can just grab one and they'll be ready to go. I know I talk about this in almost every single birthday preparation video that I do, but another little hack that I have found instead of going to the store or going to Party City and spending a whole bunch of money on helium, just buy your own helium tank at Walmart. I've even seen them at Target and then you can just do it right from home. And I'm telling you guys, it saves time, it saves money, and we're able just to do it, like I said, all from home. pop it turned out. I'm now going to blow up the balloons and stick them through the hole so I don't have to secure them because it should just be able to fit right through. So I have all the balloons picked out over here. Also got the popcorn machine set up. You guys saw that. Still don't know how to work it, but we'll get there. Huh? Okay. I don't know what she said, but okay. Um, so we're going to now blow these up with electric pump. Yes, it's Nolan's birthday. Are you excited, Scarlett? Yeah. Yeah? Get this out, start blowing up the balloons and putting them through there. A lot of questions that I get, or one of the main questions I get about my party videos is where do I get everything? I just wanna let you guys know, a majority about us, I'd probably say 95% of the things that I get for the kids party is off of Amazon. So I will be sure to leave my Amazon storefront in the link down below. I have so many different party themes over there, you guys, of all the different themes I've done over the years and everything that I've gotten for them. So if you guys see something in this video, and I'll also try to leave the links in the description as well. But if you see anything in this video and want to know where I got it, like our balloon pump or the punch container, or I can't even remember what it's called punch beverage thing i don't know uh anyways that will all be down in the description or you can find it at my amazon storefront So every time that I make this corn dip for parties or get togethers, it is always a hit. Everybody loves it, minus Frank because he doesn't like mayo. But for the majority of the people, they absolutely love it and it's so easy to make. It literally took me five minutes to put it together. You just serve it with chips, tortilla chips. Um, so I will leave that recipe down below for you guys so you guys can make it for other parties or get togethers, baby showers, whatever you wanna make it for. I'm telling you guys, it will be a hit and it's even better if you have a large crowd to double it.
So since I struggled a lot with trying to find different decorations and I try to get creative, like for example, you guys saw all the colorful balls and the small pool for the smaller kids and the popcorn machine. So I try to be creative for his pop it birthday, um, but I did substitute a lot of the decorations with balloons and that's another little hack that I have that if you want to fill a room or have more de decorations throughout the room, just grab some balloons, put it on a weight, and just scatter them everywhere. So I put some by the fireplace, I put some by the doorway, by um, the party favors, and it's just a little trick that I've learned. And I wanted to show you guys also the water slide that we got for Nolan's birthday, because as you guys can see, it's very colorful, goes with his theme. The kids absolutely loved it. I swear they were just on repeat going down the side for at least three hours. So I just wanted to include this little footage, even though it's not part of the birthday prep. So overall, Nolan's birthday was a hit. He loved everything. You guys can kind of see in the background how the big giant poppet turned out. And I got his cake actually from Publix. I'm telling you guys, do not sleep on Publix cakes. They are amazing. Everybody loved it. Um, and I'm just gonna say stay tuned because the next birthday will be Fletcher's birthday next month. He is turning two. I will be also doing a birthday preparation video and show you guys the whole process. But um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it gave you ideas. Again, I will leave everything linked down below as well as my storefront. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching and we will see you in our next video. Bye guys. Bye guys.